So previously we added the preview of the mesh. So there we just gonna add. So you can place objects by just clicking on it. So let's just get into it. First things first, let's go into our store system, our store management. Right below this, I don't know why it's not commented, but it was commented, I swear. Uh, right below this, we are going to have a custom event called uh, Stop Building. Because, well, because you don't want to build it all the time, you know, you don't want to, you want to cancel it as well. So, I mean, it makes sense. Stop building, man. So you're going to have a building. So set uh, the Boolean building as uh, now get the preview mesh. This should be on the components. Get that. Right click on it, convert that into validation. So like that. So we're just going to check if it's valid or not. I mean, set a uh, static mesh and it should be none. So it doesn't show any static mesh, just, you know, and make the, uh, set the preview as nothing, basically. Uh, the timer, get the timer, clear the timer, clear and invalidate. That means we're just going to stop it. No timer. And just in case, set the timer. Uh, it's just, just in case. Okay. I just do it just in case. And right at the end of it, end of all of this, reset building mode. So we can comment this out. Stop building okay so now we can go into our third person and right here where we are building stuff we're gonna have a flip flop and you press once it's gonna preview the build press again gonna stop the building now i will explain it like you're a nine year old so basically we're calling the function setting the building mode that we are setting right here to false that means right here validating so basically just stopping down <clears throat> checking if the preview mesh is valid right here uh, no 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 where is it right here you can see we are setting the mesh so it is valid of course if you are in the building mode um, then setting the mesh to none so there's basically no mesh setting it to none just in case and clearing the timer so there's no timer uh, right here timer we're just setting it and resetting the building mode that is right here okay hopefully i explained it well if not oh well if you press b once press b again you see if you press b again nothing will happen it, it's just it's not gonna work man okay so why it doesn't work because we have to uh, right here at the stop building should be uh true so right here where we are setting the building it should be true <laughs> And by default, it should be true as well. Uh, so yeah, just if you, for example, you don't want to build or you don't have money or something like that, uh, just set these uh, this value to false. And uh, you know, so now if we press B, you can see, press B again, press B, you know, you, you get the point. Yeah. Now the hard part comes in. Uh, so in the store system, we are going to create a folder called items. Uh, items. So in here, we are going to have an act. You may ask, oh, why an act? Because uh, we have to actually place it. And to place it, right here, we have a blueprint, right? And we haven't actually set any blueprints to our mesh, I guess. So we have to do that. So that's why I said we need an act. So call it BP master item. I always call it a master item. You can call it whatever. We just have a static mesh. That's it. You're just going to have a static mesh. You can add like different logic to it. For example, make it interactable or whatever. Now, right click on it, create a child. This will be BP box, for example. Or we had a table, sorry. I think we had the table. From the master item, I cut the child called BP uh, register, I think it was. Oh no! What the actual fuck? Are you fucking kidding? How? How did it crash? What? So for the table, add a static mesh. It should be a box or whatever. We added, I think it was like a, like a box, like this, I guess. 
I mean, you can change the color. I'm just going to change it to like whitish. And that's about it. So we have a table, I guess. And now go into our data table. Uh, we have the table, blueprint, BP, and find the table. Right now, we're not going to add cost. That's going to be in the last part. We're just going to add it so we can place it. So in the store manager, now we can uh, start actually doing the logic. So I'm going to move this right down here. And we can have a custom event called a uh, place object. So I'm going to call it. We're going to have a branch because we're going to check uh, if we can build and is building. <laughs> so we're going to have two and. So, uh, of course, right now we're not going to do anything with cash or money because I'm poor. We're going to have a spawn actor and uh, the spawn transfer is the relative transfer that we created. And uh, try to adjust the location, but always spawn. Mm, and stop building. Uh, what is that? Stop building. So it just uh, automatically cancels everything out. That should work. So it doesn't work. So we're going to get the inventory. Get a copy. Because uh, this basically means we are getting the copy of this the entire inventory. This is an inventory, by the way. Get the index, plug that shit in. The index, if you remember, is the data table index. So this is uh, 0 and this is 1 because it's an integer. Integers start from 0 to 1 million. Yeah. And we're going to break this to get all these values. That's why I really like structures and you shouldn't uh, put these as variables inside here. It just doesn't make any sense or in the items so now the blueprint just matched that up and it should work uh what i should advise you is uh, create a uh, create an input i'm just gonna do it real quick so uh there should be input input action call it place object and why not let's have another one uh building oh that's just for now Let's go into our defaults. Let's add, add this one. That's going to be place object. Touch the left mouse button. And the building mode will be the B1. Just like that. Okay, we can close that up. Go into our third person. Right here where we have the B. Uh, right here where we have the B. Just destroy that. We don't need no more. Get the building mode in. From the start, plug that in. And now the place object, yeah. That's gonna be uh, get the store manager and place object. Okay. Uh, so, if we test it out, hopefully it's gonna work. Bam! Wow! Damn! Hopefully you had the same reaction as me. If not, oh well. And you can see there's a bug. If you press B again, uh, it doesn't do anything. So basically why it does what it does. So for example, if you press B, place the object and you press B again, it doesn't do anything. You have to press it again. Uh, so basically why does it? Because it's really simple. Um, right here, when we place it, we stop the building entirely. So we do all of this bullshit, right? But in the third person, it's still, uh, it's still a because we are using a flip flop. So it, it's kind of, it, it's kind of bad in this case. Uh, later when we add the store system to it, we're gonna fix it. But uh, it's a challenge if you wanna fix it yourself. I'm not going to because I'm too lazy for that shit. So it's basically like that. Uh, let's comment this out. This is. Placing an object, object where uh, on the previews mesh, I guess. So basically, where the preview is, it just places by getting the relative transfer. Um, yeah, this should be uh, stop building. Okay. Uh, one last thing that we can actually do to narrow everything down and make everything cool and shit uh, we can make rotation so we can rotate the item 
uh, it's not gonna be really visible so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna modify this item so I'm gonna have a wall basically uh, to actually show that it's rotating and in the building information uh, what actually what I'm gonna do to make this 20 times better we're gonna go into our items right click on the master I'm gonna have BP wall and in here we just gonna have a static mesh of wall and let's have like a small wall just like that we can close that up and now remember oh uh, now in the building information data table I'm gonna add a, a row name called wall this will be a wall that's gonna be I think it was this one BP wall and now in the store manager the index will be set to two I think yeah because so once again table is zero register is one and the wall is two uh, so if you click B you should see the wall and how I said if you're using in first person it's gonna look 20 times better because I know if we rotate our character it's uh, it's gonna rotate the wall as, as well so uh of course you can place it bam looks cool so we're gonna uh create an input for this one so input action duplicate one of these and call it uh rotation open that up in the in the trigger gonna add one and this will be hold and release that should be uh, it. So you can close it up. Open uh, the defaults. Have a plus. Rotator. Open that up. And it's going to be R. And yes, that's going to be it. So you can save that. And we're going to have a custom event. So let's create a custom event called rotation. I think that's how you type rotation. I don't know. We are going to have the preview rotation. So we're going to set that and we're going to do combine rotators. And the first one will be the relative transfer. So we're going to get that, split that relative transfer rotation going to the A and the B will be 90. So that means it, uh, how many degrees you want to, uh, you want it to rotate. So uh, combining or actually setting a new rotation 90 degrees i i don't know how you type degrees i'm dyslexic help and that's basically it so now in the third person right under here we're gonna have the rotator 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 and from the start we're just gonna have a rotator like that. so technically I think it should work. So if we test it out, press B, you can see it rotates 90 degrees. Uh, you may ask, oh, wh why does it, it doesn't look in the middle? You know what? The wall is not in the middle of the player. So dear child, because the pivot point of this item isn't in the middle. If you place it, bam, you can uh, adjust it. Uh, in the blueprint right here but I wouldn't advise you adjusting nothing uh, you have to go into the blender reset all the pivot point or maybe you can just do it in the engine I don't know that's why it looks like this uh, but yeah you can rotate it we can uh, build fucking fortnite walls like crazy right uh, it's probably not going to be accurate if you're using a first person. It's going to be 20 times accurate. You can see it kind of messed up. Uh, but it's, yeah. First person, use it in the first person, not third person. It's really not meant for that. 